Hello fellow aviators and aviation enthusiasts and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I'm going to apologize in advance. This is going to be kind of a lackluster video because unfortunately I have found myself grounded again. But I want you to listen to what I have to say in this video because if you are an aspiring pilot, these are some of the decisions you're going to have to be making in the near future. I woke up this morning, it's the 1st of January, I wanted to start off the new year with a little flight because one of my goals this year is to fly more frequently. Unfortunately in 2023 I think I've only accumulated about 25 to 30 hours of flight time. I own a little Cessna 150 and as everybody knows you want to keep these things in the air in order to keep the engines lubricated and prevent any kind of corrosion from taking place. Uh, but 2023 has been a very difficult year for me uh, to keep uh, my, my flights up as I would like to. So I wanted to start 2024 off with a bang. I wanted to get up there on the first day of the year in hopes to go flying at least once a week. But as life would have it, uh, the weather took a little bit of a change this afternoon. I got to the airport and I was going to prepare to pre-flight the airplane. But when I got here, I noticed that the winds were blowing a little bit more than what the forecast was calling for. So I checked my phone again. I went on a couple of apps and I noticed that the winds were actually 17 gusting to 25 at a direct crosswind from the runway. So we have a 1836 runway that's 75 feet wide, about 3,700 feet long. And um, in a Cessna 150, the maximum crosswind component in the books is 15. Um, so being that I've actually been grounded for about six weeks, I haven't flown in about six weeks, before I take anybody else up in the airplane, I like to get back in the airplane by myself and get myself reacclimated to it. To do three uh, takeoffs and landings uh, so I can stay current. You have to do that every 90 days um, or have at least that every 90 days. And so I like to go up by myself, do a little flight, do a couple of maneuvers just to get reacclimated with the bird. And uh, that way I'll feel more comfortable taking people up and they will feel more comfortable during the flights. But unfortunately, things don't always go as you would like. Since I don't have a destination flight to go to, there's nothing that's really pressing that's requiring me to go flying today. I'm not going to push the envelope. I'm not comfortable with it. I've landed the airplane in uh, 15 knot gusts before. It's okay and it handles well, but it's really pushing it. It pushes my comfort level. So I already know what I am and what I'm not comfortable with. So being that there's nowhere that I have to be, why am I going to push myself, uh, especially when I've been grounded for six weeks? When you're when you're gone for six weeks, you don't lose a lot, but you lose a little. You still, you know, you, you they call it rusty pilot syndrome. It doesn't necessarily happen that fast, but it can. And so you want to make sure that you're comfortable and you feel good about the conditions. You don't want to put yourself in a position that, you know, you get up there and you're not being safe. So that being said, I am grounded today. But I did want to just kind of give that information out to you because it's important for new pilots to know this. They're going to have to make decisions that hurt as a pilot because you want to go flying all the time. But all the time is not the best time to fly. So this is a steed. Unfortunately, she's going to stay tied up here on the ramp today. We're not going to take her up, but I'm hoping that later on this week, maybe I'll come up uh, earlier in the morning. A lot of times coming to the airport at about seven or eight o'clock in the morning is calm. It's beautiful. There's no convective turbulence going on. There's not a lot of heat on the ground, so it just makes for a really peaceful flight. That's probably what I'm going to be doing for our first flight, and I hope that you join me when I do. Do you think I made the right decision? What would you have done in this situation? Would you have gone flying anyway, or would you have grounded yourself? Let me know in the comments below. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. And if you haven't done so already, Consider subscribing to the channel because I guarantee we're going to have some great flying videos. I'm sorry that this video is not more exciting, but I wanted to take a minute. I was hoping I could do it from the air, but I wanted to say Happy New Year, guys. I hope your 2024 brings you a lot of adventures. If you're a pilot, I hope you fly safe and fly often. And make sure you share your gift of flight with a lot of people because we need to build this general aviation community. It's a wonderful community, and I think more people need to and want to get involved. So... Thank you guys for watching. Happy New Year. And I'll see you guys in the skies. Bye-bye.